Joe, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Norm. on the road for uh, how long now? Uh, three long, not too long, three yeah. long. You're not kidding. Yeah, it's been a while since we saw you. So you've been out the whole time? Or? Been, well, I was in uh, London writing for a record that was supposed to start. And uh, unfortunately, um, apparently drummers require their hands and their feet to play. And my wonderful drummer, uh, Anton Fig, um, slipped and fell and he, he injured his uh, right foot. Did you say before that it was a golfing? No, it's thing? not. No, no. It was, <laughs> I, I, was, I was saying it was, it was uh, he was out on uh, assignment for the KGB. And <laughs> oh, he was injured in the is, eastern yeah. Ukraine <laughs> on a covert mission. Because I know golf is a very physical game these days. Yeah, so I'm not yeah. sure if that it's was a, part of that mission. <laughs> but he's, he's, he's going to be fine. And the, the thing about it is Anton is so wonderful and my favorite drummer in the world. And, and his foot is quite important. His foot and, is something special. And also, he's also played on every one of my recordings since 2007, and I like to keep it that way. So we decided to postpone the record from recording, well, day after tomorrow, to January. So it gives me an extra six months, So, and I'm also here for a couple of weeks, so I get to come home. So there he is. is nice. he's, he's back at his... I'm back at, like, I, I don't home. even recognize the city anymore. And we got uh, Joe's right-hand man right over There's there. Rick. That's Rick Gould. Old. Rick yep. is one of my best buddies. His mom is the wonder of the world. Uh, she comes out to see Joe play, stands up the whole night. After about an hour, my legs are killing me. Yeah. She's even a little bit older than me, which is hard to believe that anybody's older than me. But she's like up and going the whole way. She's so, got more energy than the entire band. That's right, Barbara. So she is uh, something special. So Rick, I hope uh, whatever is in her genes or her vitamins is transferable yeah. to you. So I brought you something today that will hopefully, hopefully, um, I bought a, a, a bass and a guitar from Norm about six months ago and I've been kind of, because I've been gone and cheap, um, I've been pushing the, put, kicking the ball down the lane. He says, well, bring me something cool from your personal stash that you've played. And so this is the last one. We've sold everyone through this store and this is the last one. This is the prototype of the Sunburst JB Les Paul, and this was built in 2010. Wow, it even says prototype up there. Yes. Man. Pretty cool. And um, you use this on a lot of stuff. I you? use this on a lot of stuff. I use this on DVDs, I use it on Black Country Communion, the first two albums. Um, this was my go to Les Paul before I, the vintage bug really bit me. And, and uh, you know, so the only thing I changed on it over the years was I matched the knobs because I was getting so much crap online about the mismatched <laughs> knobs. And I said, well, A, it looked like Peter Green's guitar, and B, when you're singing and you're looking straight forward, you don't want to keep looking down. Hard so to you, see, yeah. you just go by feel, reflector, non reflector. It, that is as simple as that. So this was like on videos, it's albums? It's on videos. It's, 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 you know, I had a much better hairline. I was probably 10 pounds thinner back when this guitar was being played regularly on the... Looks like there's some belt buckle and some... Oh, yeah, this is all. Uh, it's all it, it wasn't an aged guitar. It was a... It was a an NOS guitar, I mean, all this patina and stuff like that, and um, I think I put this nice. double ply pickguard on there. But it's the it's the one, you know, it's the only sunburst. You know, it's the first sunburst, and then they did like a run of fifty of them. So this is like actual Joe Bonamassa sweat and grime on there and all that. This is uh, this is actual. You know, you know, a lot of this patina comes from when you ship guitars in the in the trunks. But yeah, this is sweat and grime and toil and. Thousands of gigs. You know, this was this was on the road me like at least five, six years. So we, you know, we did 500 shows on this thing. And, and very cool. And I remember Rick Gembar gave this to me um, in Lexington, Kentucky, and he he just kind of showed up unannounced, and he's like, "Hey, man, I got this thing. We want you to sign off on. So I built you one just to see it. And it and it was light, and it like I used it all night. And it was just a, it's a great guitar. 2010. 2010. And um, I'm sad to see it go, but. Uh, but, but that match set 56 Strat and P Base, you know, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with that. That's so. very cool. You know what? Can we get you to just, can we just put a plug in this thing and just hear what it sounds like? Yeah, as long as it's not through a bass. <laughs> uh, not through a bass. So we'll, we'll keep you in the guitar amp. This is just a pro reverb. reverb. You, you know, you, you know, Norm, I've realized that I'm, I've become more deaf as the years go by. And it's okay, but, but, you know, for sometimes like with amps, like I sit at home and I play amps and I go, people go, wow, that's so loud. I go, really? I can't even hear it. It's like practicing.
Yeah, that's what it, it, and you yeah, know what, this guitar hasn't been tuned since 2013. Or and all those lessons from Joe Bonamassa have worked out pretty good. You sound very, very similar to him. Overrated as usual. <laughs> Overrated as no. One of the greatest, I think the greatest in the world, and I, I don't think a lot of the guys that he worships could even carry his guitar case these days. Well, but, you know, yeah, I can tell you this. Uh, this guitar brings back a lot of memories, and because I, I, I was going through, when I, when I pulled this out of storage, and I was kind of going through some videos and photos, and I'll send you all that. My hairline was way better than it is now. I mean, it was Mine like- Mine was darker, so. I'm like, I'm like man, I just like, it, it's like, it's, it's that sweet spot, like between age 33, 34, 35. It's See, like, all like, this stuff even on the side, yeah. this little gray growing in, and I knew you, there was just, none of that stuff. And, and yeah. you know what the thing is, I didn't appreciate it back then, and I, and I retroactively would like to appreciate it more now, but I can't go back in time. Youth is wasted on the young. So this is, this is a, a piece of my youth that I'm letting go. So Are you, all right, well I got something I want to give to you because- well, thank you. Well, you don't have to um, give me anything, really. <laughs> See, that didn't seem loud to me, but it seems like loud to everybody else. It wasn't it's loud at all. Right, it's because I'm deaf. Yeah. So this is just a funky guild guitar case, right. but I thought this had your name on it. Well, not your name on it, but somebody I'm that you kind of- And Morganfield. And and you know who that is? Muddy Waters. Absolutely. That's, a, that's fantastic. And he did have association with Guild, so there's a, a good chance Absolutely. it could have been something that he toured with or... Absolutely. Well, I want you to have this, but I just want to tell you this story real quickly. My buddy Mike Fuller over at uh, the last Dallas Guitar Show, mm -hmm. I bought a, a guitar that I'd kind of been working on a price with him for a while. It was a J55 Gibson, and it wasn't you know, original to this case, but apparently he got it with this case. So I ended up buying it from him, and I put it on my desk to inventory it when I was buying my stuff at the show and inventory it with the serial numbers and all that. And I started looking at this case, and I'm going, M. Morganfield, Muddy Waters. Now, I know McKinley Morganfield is Muddy Waters, and when I saw that, I went up to Mike because I didn't know whether he was going to, you know, right. add this to try to get the price up or something like that. I said... You know who McKinley Morganfield is? And Mike went, no. I said, well, that's Muddy Waters. He went, Muddy Waters, he said, you're going to get an arm and a leg for this case. Well, no, I'm not, because I'm giving it to my buddy Joe, because I know Joe would appreciate it. Well, thank Hopefully you. Hopefully, it'll I'm, be in uh, a blues museum. Yeah, I'm going yeah, to see if the, 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 the museum down in Clarksdale, because um, we can't really prove that it's yeah. Muddy's, but it, same name. Yeah, I don't they, know I who would put this on. Look at how old this is. Yeah. I mean, this and they have, they have his house down there, so it'd be kind of a cool thing to Absolutely. have inside. Of but no. thank you, Norm. That's really, it's really nice. No. And, I, I'm, I'm, and I'm glad you paid Mr. Fuller before you discovered that. Uh, yeah, no, but he's a great guy and he's an old yeah. friend of mine yeah. and he was a little in shock. But I just wanted to know I did not sell it. It's going to one of my best buddies and somebody who will appreciate what this is. And for everybody out there, Norm is extremely efficient and diplomatic at guitar shows. He buys more guitars in less time. I mean, it, I've, he just fills a, a table up. I've watched it happen. And, and I'm a and, rain man. And you're a rain man, but, but you're diplomatic and everybody loves Norm. And they, they want to sell to Norm because he's Norm. If it, I was Norm, I would just use this tactic. I'd be like, hi, I'm Norm. Give me, give me, give me. I, I don't think that would work. I think they probably me what dragged I had coming me away. Yeah. Yeah. If, they, if they gave me what I had coming, I'd you probably wouldn't have be gotten dead already. So, yeah. Right. Anyway. So, yeah. this could have been, you know, somebody else might have killed me, but Mike's my buddy, and exactly. he got it, and I told him I was going to give it to you, and, you know, he said, well, in that case, cool, but Mike right. Fuller's a good guy. Fuller's vintage guitar. He's a really good guy, an old friend of mine, right. yeah. and I just thought it would be something that uh, would go in the, the right hands. Hopefully at the next Coast of Mason show, you, you buy some late 60s Strat and it says Jay Hendrix on it. Yeah. There you go, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> it would be a good Jay target, Hendrix? But yeah, right. But this, you know, McKinley Morganfield, now that's an unusual name. Right. So, um, and he did have an association with Guild. Guild. So, I'm, I'm sure this is one Some, of Muddy's cases. Yeah. So I, mean, I don't know who would have it, done that this long. You can see this is old. And nobody was trying to sell it to me as Muddy Waters' case. So right. that was the good news. If he would have been saying, this is Muddy's guitar case, I might have been, well, I don't know. Right. But it's, that wasn't it's all, it's all, it's all night. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm honored, and I will, I, will, I will either find it or give it a good home in our museum here. My so, man. Thanks, thank Norm. You, Joe. Good I appreciate to see you again. it, as always. Thank you, Rick, for babysitting Joe. And, you know, right. and, uh, <laughs> and Anton, I wish you uh, all the best. speed and, you all know, the best, get yeah. 
get well quick. And, he's uh, he's going to be fine. He's, he's, he's in good spirits and... And, um, you know, we're just, you know, he's disappointed that it happened, but he'll be fine. Stuff be happens. Stuff I mean, happens. you know, it's like a, if that's the worst of it. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Anton, good luck. Good luck. The whole band, Reese, the guys, you know, love them all. I've spent a lot of time with them on the cruises. Right. The cruises are the best thing around. And I told you this time in August. I, know. I had to kind of cancel out because my daughter's going to give birth in August yeah, and I have to be here. I'm going to be in the doggy house big time. Right. But I look forward to it so much. Well, next, next, next spring. I could replace you, Norm. I could go instead I of you. you could, next no. spring, we got Buddy Guy, so you'll be there for that. Yeah, I will buddy. be there. All right. Cool. The great Thanks, Joe Bonamassa, thank you so much. Thanks. As always, no love problem. you. He's family. Right here at Norm's Rare Guitars.